Hey, looking to provide comments to your students and some uh, effective feedback? Well, uh, the G Suite tools really allow you to do this fairly easily. So we're going to primarily look at Google Docs today, but the same applies to Sheets and Slides. So let's take a look. So here I am. I'm on a Google Doc, and this Google Doc is, let's for this case, pretend that this is a student, Tech Help 2. So the first thing the student needs to do is share it with the teacher. So in this case, he's student sharing it with me and he's made me an editor which allows uh, me to do uh, pretty much anything on there but the student can also choose uh, to only allow me to comment um, but in this case it's an editor a comment would just allow me to comment on the student's work so the student shared it with me so now I'm just gonna go over to uh, my account and so now you can see here I am I am in my account and here is the document. So there's a number of ways that uh, you can comment. So the first thing that you need to do is click or put your cursor where you want the comment to be associated with. So let's say it's at the end of this sentence right here. So I'll just double click here and you can see a comment bubble appears here. So I can add a comment by clicking on it. I can also add a comment by going to insert and then finding comment. I can also right click and then comment and the last place I can go is up here where there's the comment bubble again I'd have to have my cursor where I'd want it to be go to comment click on comment and then add my comment now here it says comment or add others with an at so if I ever use the at so tech help so if I wanted to um, provide a notification to the person that I'm leaving a comment with I can I can do that and they'll also get a notification um, and then I can just add a comment so you know this is a uh, great work not a great comment but right now it's just a comment and then I click on comment now this comment appears immediately on the student side as well so let's look back at um, our students copy so here's our students copy and you can see uh, here's the comment now when they click on the comment it moves in and it also highlights the area that it's associated with so right there there's that yellow same thing the student can also look at for the, for the highlighted area click on it and it pops in and they can see it there they can now reply back thanks and reply and when I go back to mine you can see there it is all right now the student or the teacher can also mark it as resolved so if it was a back and forth we're working on something but now we've resolved it they click on the check mark and it resolves it and hides it up here under the comment bubble now uh, if you ever want them back you just click on the comment bubble and click on reopen and it will all come back all right so there it is I'm just going to resolve that as well now the same applies within um, Google slides um, so let's go back to uh, my uh, my teacher side of it and here's a Google slide now there's not as many ways um, to add the comments in this case so here if I double click you can see that uh, it doesn't appear but I'll need to either go to the comments here and add a comment or I can go to insert and add a comment that way and it works exactly the same way so there you go quick and easy way to add comments um, a lot nicer than just adding the comments right within the body of the text which can become confusing uh, to students sometimes so there you go hope that works for you